If you saw this, what would you do? Murder or embrace? Press G or left mouse button? Chuckle or be triggered? And more importantly, how do you think someone like this impacts the game of TF2 as a whole? Well, in regards to that last question, this is what you guys thought. Half of you think friendlies don't impact the game, a third think they improve the game, and about 10% think they ruin the game. Last week I released a video where I made fun of people who always killed friendlies, but I had genuinely completely forgotten how controversial this topic was, and I saw a bunch of comments defending those who do slaughter friendlies. So because of this I decided to look more closely at the topic and to get a bit of a discussion going. So I started with this tweet to get a feel for the community's opinion on friendlies. I got loads of replies which confirmed that this is something that you guys clearly feel really passionate about, and the more I looked into it the more I unearthed, not for the first time, the great try-hard and friendly divide. The majority of replies were pro-friendly, which is understandable based off the results of the survey. Some were anti-friendly, and I got the feeling that those who were against friendlies felt more strongly about the issue. Perhaps these people are frustrated because it feels like they're fighting a losing battle? You also highlighted the hypocrisy of thinking going friendly is okay, but not liking random crits or vice versa. And while I have to say these memes did make me chuckle, I don't think these two things necessarily go hand in hand. Some of you guys were on the fence, and of course a lot of you mentioned how it depends on certain factors such as your mood, what the friendlies are actually doing, and of course the game mode. I'm doubting any of you guys have ever met a friendly in comp, I'd be keen to hear if any of you guys have, so I don't really think this game mode is up for dispute. Some people however were happy to see friendlies in community servers, but not so much in casual servers. Now, I agree that the impact of friendlies on a game is situational, but this doesn't affect the broader question, and that is, are they good for the game? And there are several ways I could have posed this particular question, each with slightly different answers. For example, do you enjoy encountering friendlies? This is purely subjective. Is it okay or a bit douchey to play as a friendly? This is debatable. Do they make the game better? This is ambiguous. Are they good for the longevity of the game? This is what I was trying to get at and I would argue that the answer is definitely yes. Simply because the more ways that there are to play the game, the more life the game has. I decided to pose this second question to see if you guys agreed, but surprisingly, or perhaps not, the split was kind of similar to the first question. Although you may occasionally see a friendly in other games, it's fair to say that they are more common in TF2, and trying to go friendly in many other games has a much lower success rate. So why do people go friendly in the first place, and why are there so many friendlies in TF2? Well, I think the best way to put it is that it's another way to play the game. Now where have I heard that before? Interestingly enough, this is a phrase that was brought up by many hackers that I interviewed in a previous video, and the more I thought about it, the more I realised that there are quite a lot of similarities between the two groups. Both are not playing the game as intended, both upset other players, both are kind of rebelling against the system, in a way, but by no means am I saying that going friendly is as bad as hacking, that would be insane. Hacking is breaking the rules of the game, there are no rules to say you can't crouch and give out sandwiches. And more importantly, hacking upsets way more people, the entire server normally, whereas friendlies, as we've just seen, may upset about 10% of the player base. Now there are many different types of friendlies as we'll come to in a second, but there are certain breeds that will spend long periods of time kind of doing nothing, and I always end up asking myself, but why though? What's going on inside these people's minds? And why are there so many in TF2? Well, it's certainly a different way to play the game, and I think the reason TF2 has so many friendlies is twofold. One, due to the style of the game, and two, due to the age of the game. It's been said before, the game is inherently silly, light-hearted and humorous, and on top of that, the longer people play, the more perhaps they get bored of the core gameplay and will start trying anything from exploring weird servers to flexing their skills as a trollger, to walking around and giving out sandwiches. And to add to all this, Valve has not only embraced this direction, but encouraged it, with the addition of all sorts of new dancing taunts and that kind of thing. I think all of this has worked in Valve's favour, in terms of the lifespan of the game, and adding another dimension, another layer, another way to play and enjoy TF2. But I know some of you guys disagree with me, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below.
Before you think this is purely a bunch of pro-friendly propaganda, let me explain my stance on friendlies. Personally, I'm always friendly before the round starts, because I think it's more interesting and funny than practicing my mad DM skills for another 30 seconds. I'm never friendly during the round, except if one, I'm doing something weird for a stream or video, two, I see another friendly and I'll join in for a short period of time, or three, a funny situation occurs, a funny scenario like a weird standoff between a pirate and a soldier, or I get caught sneaking up behind a sniper, and sometimes a kind of naturally occurring spontaneous friendly moment happens, and I enjoy it, I love it, it's funny, you smile, and then you go on your way and continue to murder everyone you meet. In principle, I think at the end of the day you can do whatever the heck you like but I would say there are scenarios where going friendly is inconsiderate and a little bit douchey. The main example being, if you're on a losing team and it's fairly close and you are contributing quite a lot to the game and then you decide to start handing out sandwiches to the enemy, that's a little bit of a douchey move. But if you're on the winning team, for example, there's a bit of a stomp going on, who cares if you're one heavy down? What I personally don't understand is the appeal of constantly going friendly for long periods of time, doing nothing but watching the game around you for hours. And further to this, the idea of friendly servers is completely beyond me. I have nothing against the people who do this kind of thing, it's just something I personally don't enjoy. On the other hand, I also have no problem with people who go around killing friendlies. These people are often referred to as tryhards, which is a term that's never made much sense to me, as that's kind of the whole point of the game, to try hard at winning. But there are three-ish things that do annoy me when it comes to killing friendlies, and they are the following. One, killing before the round starts. If I'm doing a funny taunt and staring at you, and the round hasn't even started yet, I just don't understand why you wouldn't at least, I don't know, whack me with a frying pan or something. Do something slightly amusing. 2. Killing friendlies that are of no threat instantly. I'm happy for you to murder me if I'm a friendly, but at least pause to look for just a second or two, and then at least slowly beat me to death with your melee of choice. Just spend a second taking in that scene, and then kill everyone. And number three, people who prioritise friendlies over other players for easy points. Now this is just plain low. Going back to the whole finding new ways to play the game, if I do ever get a little bit bored of the core gameplay, I would rather go kind of the equivalent of the Trollger for Demo Man, fly around the map, do some cool surfs, and land on people's heads getting some cool melee kills. Genuine strat alert. You can feign friendliness as a last ditch attempt to get out of a helpless situation. If you know you're dead, whip out a melee or do a taunt. It won't work every time, but if there's no other option, this can be a legit strat that has definitely saved me on numerous occasions. Many types of friendlies have appeared in TF2 over the years as new taunts or items are added to the game. By going to YouTube and ordering the videos by release date, you can actually scroll to the very bottom and find out exactly which year each of these types of friendlies made their debut. The fact that there was still a whole new breed of friendly created in 2019, who knows what's around the corner. It was really interesting to see some of the oldest videos relating to these memes and where it all began. And on the flip side, how there were still videos being created and uploaded every single day with these keywords in it. Take Spy Crab for example. It's weird to think that once there was no Spy Crab, no one had discovered it yet. And then one day someone just did it and it just blew everyone's mind. Rare and dangerous <laughs> crab <laughs> <laughs> and taking a look at the very latest video with the term spy crab in it. This one seems to be a picture of a squirrel backstabbing a snake with uh, Metallica playing in the background. Sure. You may have noticed that Trollger and Uber Chaining were not on the list. I cannot bring myself to class these as friendlies, as they will be going around murdering you at the first chance they are given. Some of the more bizarre friendlies I've encountered are the Empty Engineers. I don't know if they actually have a name, but they sort of empty their sentry gun and listen to it click. The Spectator Spy. Teleporting NGs who infinitely teleport themselves using a taunt. The Intel Hoarder the T-poser, and there's the kind of spaced out friendly who just kind of sits in a corner alone doing something weird. These guys I'm genuinely concerned about. It's worth noting that there are some friendlies that will defend themselves and some that don't bother. 
and as you've probably experienced, sometimes crossing a pack of hoovies can be a big mistake. I have my suspicion that some friendlies enjoy this aspect of the experience, it's almost like setting a trap, ready to exact revenge on those that don't want to be nice. To be fair, it is pretty satisfying doing a taunt kill on an enemy who just tried to kill you in cold blood. I'm pretty sure getting killed by a hoovy while laughing is one of the most humiliating experiences in TF2. So recently I've noticed that friendlies seem a little bit more prevalent and one theory that I had is that could this be due to the recent cheater problem? It's been great to see that people usually kick these cheaters very quickly and then afterwards there's kind of a nice vibe in the server and sometimes I've noticed a bit of a celebration, a bit of a friendly dance can occur. I've also noticed that friendlies and unfortunately hackers seem to be more common on certain maps such as 2-4 and of course High Tower. so these are good maps to avoid if you want to just be playing a fairly serious game of TF2. I also suspect that some game modes are more susceptible to friendlies than others, for example an everlasting round of CTF is bound to have people go crazy after a while, whereas a quick and intense round of cough well perhaps that leaves less room for silliness. As you've probably seen by some of these clips, I tried to go friendly as research for this video. I got bored in about 12 seconds, but you know, I had some good times too. In terms of my success rate, I would hazard a guess that it was approximately a little less than 50%. I found I had more luck as a hoovy than when I was playing demo, and this made me realize that each class has probably a slightly different trust level when it comes to going friendlies. Most classes can be trusted as friendly, but let's be honest, spy, never gonna happen. I am never gonna trust those spies. We all know that in one click, they could destroy you and that temptation is probably far too powerful. And finally, I'd also wondered that, do you think the density of friendlies has and will continue to increase as the game ages, as more people want to just mess about and try different things in the game? Maybe in the year 2050, there will only be friendlies. Oh God. Although it's impossible to know for sure, I honestly believe that love or hate them, friendlies have prolonged the life of TF2. Along of course with all the other non-core gameplay features of the game like cosmetics, trading, strange community servers and much more. TF2 is an extremely versatile game and that's what makes it so robust. I know it's a cliche to say this at this point, but you can play the game however you like. And people certainly do. So to the friendlies and the tryhards, I would say this. One, don't complain if you see a friendly. And two, don't complain if you're killed as a friendly. There are of course many existing videos on this topic with people passionately fighting for or against the friendly cause. Most I found represent the vocal minority and had a kind of anti-friendly sentiment. Soundsmith also made a video about this a while ago focusing on some of the arguments for and against each group. He came up with a 50-50 rule. In other words, he said that whatever the majority of the server is doing, you should kind of go along with. Now, I wasn't a massive fan of this solution personally. I would simply just try and discourage it on teams that are losing by a recoverable margin and in any other situation is kind of fair game. But let me know your thoughts on this topic. I would love to hear what you guys think. I personally really enjoyed those little spontaneous and naturally occurring friendly moments you experience in TF2. But at the same time, I don't go out of my way to force these or spend ridiculously long periods of time just watching other people play the game. Either way, friendlies are here to stay. I think they're good for the game. And at the very least, TF2 would be a very different place without them.